Good morning, Facebook world. piece so let's do is lose the earpiece so hold on put that back in there all right is that better is that better kev hopefully that's better i know i've had problems with the earpiece before yeah there we go now still crappy better all right good so all right so we over here today at hendrickson park over in valley stream I want to switch it up a little bit and um, today we are riding with uh, 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 there it is that guy right there my shadow is the only one that showed up today it's the only one that's here today force of average took out the whole crew today but uh, we keep going we keep going and that's uh, that's the message for today consistency uh, this morning on the way over here I listen to podcasts uh, I listen to Ryan Stuman a lot he's got a lot of positive messages and uh consistency consistency every day getting up and doing what you got to do staying consistent everybody uh has these great goals they join the gym right after new year's and they go for maybe a month or so and i'm solo benny because you didn't show up this morning when are you gonna quit working and come ride with me so uh but consistency so we all know right after new year's everyone makes a new year's resolution they uh, go to the gym, they work out, they go on a diet, and it lasts a week, two weeks, a month. Maybe you get two months out of it, and the force of average sucks you back in. So now you're back being average, and you're not consistent, and you're not achieving your goals. So um, there's a saying that I got embroidered in one of my suits. For those of you who've ever seen in my suits that I have made, I like to put sayings inside them. <clears throat> and it says, uh, one side it says, the problem with being the best is proving it every day. So uh, that saying was actually from uh, one of my employees, good friend. I hate to say employees. I don't know. Uh, guy Mike that's uh, I've known since I'm five years old. Works with us over in uh, the air conditioning company. He's one of our uh, project managers, field supers, foreman. Basically, son's making it difficult. I'll go this way. There we go. How's that? Now you can see me. So uh, this guy Mike uh, that works with us. Uh, I've known him since I'm five, uh, treats the company like, like it's his, and uh, one of his sayings is, uh, the problem with being the best is proving it every day, and it kind of stuck with me through the years, and uh, <clears throat> it's all about consistency. If you uh, stay consistent in work, in life, in relationships, and you do what you got to do, uh, you achieve your goals. If you uh, are inconsistent, and some days you're happy, some days you're not, some days you're uh, working hard, some days you're not. Some days you're going to the gym, some days you're not. Um, you're never gonna achieve your goals. So uh, basically, the message to leave you with today is stay consistent in whatever you choose to do. If you choose to do it, do it. Go all in. I'm here riding every day now. 365 we're gonna go for. Uh, we are, what's today, the 17th I think today is? Right, I don't know, I'm shot. Um, so, I've been doing this for a couple months now, but consistently, I decided to be consistent. Uh, we started on the first, 
And here we are, 17 days in a row, 6 a.m. We ride at dawn. I've had a lot of friends join us along the road, and I'm always looking for more to join us. 6 a.m. every day, corner of Scarcliffe Drive and Cornwell. Come out and ride with us and then join in the message. Spread some love. So uh, that said, today we are wearing, I don't know if you can read my hat. This is the uh, Northwell LIJ hat here, um, given to me by um, my top producing agent on my team, Dawn. Uh, a lot of you guys know Dawn, D'Andrea. Uh, Dawn came onto my team a little over a year ago and as a brand new agent, and I've been coaching her and she's killing it. So I don't know if you've seen her out there. She's uh, selling a bunch of houses. She's helping a bunch of people buy houses and uh, she's my protege. So uh, she's being consistent. Uh, took a while to get going. Uh, kind of been working with her to get the message out there, how to operate, how to make things happen. And she's following what I do. She's following my lead. She's following my coaching and it's happening. So uh, Dawn also, uh, during the day, basically runs the uh, purchasing department of LIJ Northwell Hospital. And during the pandemic, she worked a million hours and uh, was still able to do real estate outside of all the hours she put in. And uh, I just want to thank her for all that she's done for the, uh, <clears throat> for the hospital, for the community. Um, her and all the healthcare workers. Um, my sister, uh, NICU nurse over there, a um, bunch of friends over in the Northwell system. Uh, great hospital. They really uh, <clears throat> know how to do things right. Um, so shout out to all the healthcare workers that came through the pandemic. Uh, pretty scary stuff. And they got to bed every day and were consistent. <clears throat> Went to work every day, no matter what, consistently to help the world, to uh, save us from COVID. So now I think it was 474 days, I think I, I read that, uh, we were shut down from COVID. Uh, it's a long time, really long time. And finally, we are free again. 70% vaccinated. They lifted all the COVID rules and we're free to be free again, which uh, don't take it for granted because uh, yeah, that wasn't fun times. Uh, gotta miss seeing people. So get out there, enjoy people, be consistent. Consistency is what wins. So uh, thanks, Dawn. Thanks, all the healthcare workers. We appreciate you. So uh, Father Eugene isn't with us today, but of course we got to carry on the tradition. So uh, start out here with an, our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Uh, amen. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I was in the beginning, um, <laughs> as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Uh, dear God, please uh, please bless all these healthcare workers that, that kept us healthy during this pandemic, that put their lives on the line. Um, <clears throat> to really... Uh, really tough to think about putting your life in danger to save someone else so <clears throat> something real to think about um look look over everyone as we uh, get back to normal uh try not to uh let everyone get back into the groove because uh of uh being overworked and uh not uh not enjoying life um one thing covid did do was uh for me anyway it gave me a chance to uh reset uh did 75 hard got my uh diet in order Got my weight in order, been out working. Um, real estate business has been amazing. Uh, amazing people out there supporting. I get to work with every day, uh, helping them find houses and sell houses. And it's just uh, really cool to be a part of people's lives. It's a really uh, intimate thing to be able to uh, be with someone and, and find their family house and sell their family house and find them the house that they're gonna live in and they're gonna have every holiday in. It's really uh, something special, more than just selling houses. So uh, anyway, so I want everyone to have a good day. Shout out. To the uh, healthcare workers, we appreciate you. We got a little Broadway tavern action on today. It was a little chilly this morning, so we went to long sleeves. And uh, today I'm going to take a ride into Brooklyn. I got to check out some things on a job site. And then uh, finish up some drawings. I got to go show a house later. And uh, the usual routine. Play with the kids later, hopefully. And uh, we sit in the backyard tonight and enjoy some of this beautiful weather. 
one last look at the lake. Hendrickson Park Valley Stream. This is what you see when you ride at dawn. So again, I'm here today by myself. Me, myself, and I. Just my shadow here, right here. And uh, this is what we do. If you're enjoying these messages, uh, you want to talk about anything, you want to pray for anybody, jump in the comments and uh, let me know. We'll put, uh, put everyone in our prayers. Any special requests. You guys want to talk about any situations going on in life. I always want to hear the wins. Uh, if you guys got wins in your life, post them down there. We want to hear about it. We want to celebrate winning. Um, winning, winning, winning. Celebrate winning. What's a win for me? Oh, my North Cambridge house. I got an accepted offer. Um, over asking price. Didn't even last a week. That's the market these days. That's a win. Um, actually, another win for that one. That one... Uh, we got the accepted offer, and then she was having mortgage issues. Um, so I put her with uh, one of my trusted lenders. And not only um, is she getting approved for the mortgage for this house, but her primary house that she's keeping is going to get refinanced. She's going to save like $800 a month on a refinance on her main house. And then uh, she'll be able to put that savings into this house that she's uh, buying for a family member. So pretty cool stuff. That's why... You deal with me. I have the connections to make things happen. I don't take no for an answer. We make things happen. So that was a win for me. For you guys, throw some wins down in the win column down there. Throw it down in the comments. Show me a like. Show me a love. That helps spread this through Facebook so we get to touch more people in the morning. All right. I am off to ride, and I'm heading to Brooklyn. So, all right, everyone. Signing off. God bless. Be good. See you tomorrow morning around 6.30. Come ride with me, 6 a.m. We leave corner of Scarcliff and Malvern Avenue and Cornwall, that intersection, that's right where I live, that's where we leave from, 6 a.m., you'll see me on here about 6.30, and uh, we'll be riding again tomorrow, rain or shine, let's go, see you today.